This video will be breaking down a gameplay and talking about the state of Madden. I have been very critical of Madden 25, and uh, I'm fired up for this one. I'm ready to go. I've been literally stewing on this for a couple days now. Finally got the time to dive into this one, so I hope you guys strap in. This is against my guy Shadowax Avatar V2 Gaming on Twitter. If you guys want to check out his Twitter, um, as you see, his little, his little name is up there. I'll put a link to it in the description. Also, um, if you want to check out my Twitter, I've been posting a ton of free content on there, free blitzes, free free one play touchdowns, uh, just just general little clips and stuff that I think is kind of fun. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, the link's going to be in the description. One of the things that's been really frustrating is pretty much every tweet I put out in the last week. This guy would comment on, and, and it would essentially be something like, you're, you know, that's really not that good. I would destroy that. That type of vibe uh, was what he was giving off. And um, we actually played, we only could play a half because I had, to, I had to run and go do something. He got ball first, and he got an onside kick. And a man 25, like, you, you literally cannot get a stop. It wasn't actually an onside kick. It was a scum kick because um, I was literally holding my newborn and wasn't paying attention, and he got an onside kick and recovered at the two-yard line. So uh, I was frustrated about this for, like, over 24 hours. We ended up playing last night late. And so I wanted to do a breakdown video on this. And here's kind of his recap of it. If you guys want to check out his channel, um, there's, you know, you can you can show that. And I'll put a link to all this in the description. But, um, and we'll get into these these next two games. So we played one on Mutt, and then we also played uh, played on Regs. Now, here we go. Here, here's his recap. I lost both, but in all fairness, I was at a disadvantage in Mutt due to me being a squads player. So my DBs are dated. We're already saying that his team was worse than my team, and that's the only reason I won. This is the lie that freaking Madden wants you to believe, and it drives me insane every single year. My team is, I have spent money on my team. It's literally not the best team in the game by any means. Shot, like, like I just hate that that's like the first thing that we say is, he just, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I just, if, if I would have had to, if I would have had a better team, I would have won. Well, then spend some money. Figure it out. We also played regs so that he wouldn't have that excuse in the second game. And here he says regs, I think it was user skill versus better players. Again, he's basically m making the same complaint that his team is not as good as the team that I picked, even though in regs he had the opportunity to pick whatever team he wanted. That being said, um, here we go. And then this is the only thing I really wanted to focus on. One takeaway. He was blitzing and probably got one sack per game in 30-plus attempts. I sent four people every single play. He sent four people every single play. I don't call that a blitz whatsoever. I don't think he would either. And I will get a lot more than one sack per game. I played a coverage-based defense and was getting four to five sacks a game, give or take. Now, while that might be true, um, literally, I you'll see, I, I think I drop over 100 points combined in these next two games. So let's get into the gameplay before I get even more mad, and let's get, uh, let's get going. All right. All right, here we go. X Demon Shadow is his name. And he is the Titans. I am the Cowboys. I'm pretty sure, because we've matched up three times, and every time he has received the ball to start the game, I'm pretty sure that his in his settings, he actually has his coin toss first choice on receive, which is the which is one of the most like basic things that you are playing somebody that is really bad at the game if they are doing that. Little just kind of two cents. And also, you know what? Let's let's uh, let's pause this, pause this real quick. I got to talk to you real quick. I want to just kind of state like my overall purpose of doing this video and like why I'm so amped, why I'm so frustrated. Because my big thing here, there's really like a big picture frustration and a little picture frustration. The big picture frustration really has nothing to do with my man Demon Shadow X. My big picture frustration is the fact that because Madden makes such a bad game, and I think you will see in this game why this is such a bad game, because Madden has made such a terrible game, especially on the defensive side of the ball, people can feel like they are literally Patrick Mahomes because they can score a couple times and it looks really cool. They're really terrible, but by God, because EA dumbs this game down so much, you can't catch interceptions. Zones don't cover anything. Your movement is so slow. The offensive movement, and it, this movement pattern has been in favor of the offense since they went to next gen. If you really think about it, there has not been a defensive Madden or a Madden that where you can legitimately 
have a solid chance at getting multiple stops per game. There has not been a defensive Madden since last gen. Madden 21 and Madden 20 were the most defensive Maddens that I can think of. And then I guess Madden 18 we can throw into that camp. Since they've gone next gen, so Madden 21 next gen was completely offensive game. Madden 22 next gen was completely offensive game. Madden 23 next gen was most defensive game that you've seen on next gen was still an offensive game. And Madden 24 next gen was an offensive game. And Madden 25 next gen was an offensive game. You had five consecutive years where we are seeing 50 plus points scored a game. Now, I've never seen it this bad. And, and we say this every year. The game sucks every year. Man sucks every year. It's like a common thing that you hear. And what, but, but this year is a little different. And the reason why it's a little different is because these aren't like, like in previous years, it was like, you know, 35, 28 scores. What we're getting this year, and it was regardless of skill level, you can look on Twitter, look across the community, comp Madden players, the best players in the world, people that have made hundreds of thousands of dollars playing this game, and I'm not claiming to be a comp player, I'm not playing, claiming to be somebody that makes hundred thousands of dollars playing this game, um, I, don't have, I don't have the time to devote to that, but the thing that I want to say about that is this, these guys have the time, these guys have the schedule, these guys have devoted it, they have the success over time, they've been in this community over time, and they're all saying basically the same thing, defense is terrible, this is the most skillless Madden of all time, you don't have to be skilled to be good at this game, everybody is good at this game. And I think that this is going to highlight it. So that's the first thing. Uh, first purpose of the video is to try to showcase why I'm so frustrated with Madden 25 as a whole and why this game needs a massive, massive patch. And I'm not even sure that they can actually fix it. The second purpose for this video is because I'm so frustrated with, the, with, with people like this in our community. Because it's this general, this, this general like position that I'm smarter than you, I know more than you, I don't need your help, I, I don't like that mentality as a whole. And this guy, if you go to his Twitter, it says in his bio that he is a pro Madden player. I'm not sure what categorizes a pro Madden player because several times we were trying to set these games up and he said that he had to go to work. So how are you a professional Madden player, but you have a job? I don't understand how that works because professional Madden player would, would mean that Madden was your job. So it's this kind of deal that we're dealing with in our community. It's this kind of deal that we're dealing with, honestly, in society as a whole. This, this just like this reality of like lack of humility, lack of respect, lack of anything. I've been teaching Madden for over 12 years. I've been teaching Madden for over 12 years. And I just felt like, so over just like the 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 rudeness like just the 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 lack of respect and i'm not the best Madden player in the world i don't claim to be the best Madden player in the world i try to study the game as much as i can i try to help people get better at the game the biggest thing i'm trying to say here guys is i felt like to a degree and this is the reason i wanted to do these games there was this just general like i'm smarter than you i know better than you and the only reason that i'm gonna lose is because my team's not better than yours that mentality to me is really frustrating and really aggravating. And so you get on the field and you prove it on the field. So let's get into the game. So he's going to be in this doubles all game long. And this is his offense right here. This is it. This is what we're going to do every single play. Every single play, he's got this guy here. We're just going to throw the ball out here. And he's just going to basically try to back shoulder. Okay. Now, uh, the thing I wanted to say about the back shoulder stuff is that he will catch a couple of them. He actually catch a lot of them. He's actually got a decent free form to that side. It's actually kind of cool. It's a rocket catch. Awesome. My issue is this is the only thing we're doing. And in, 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 the, in the leading up to it, tweets and, and messages, it was this whole thing of like, I, you know, I play real football. I coached at a junior college. I'm just, you know, like blah, 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 blah. And what we're doing pretty much every play, like 90% of the plays, is we're trying to rocket catch with our, with our outside receiver that's 6'8". All right, I'm going to jump over to YouTube to do this. I felt like my video player wasn't buffering. But as we look here again, third down, third straight attempt. I can't catch a pick. I'm hitting triangle, by the way, every single time. I can't catch the interception. 
Like I, I wish I, I should just start like a list of things that I'm so like I'm, I'm frustrated. That's one of them. Drop picks is terrible. Movement is terrible. And you're going to see right here. Zones are terrible. Watch what happens here. Um, I need to get my, uh, I need to get my deal. My, uh, my little, uh, marker thing. All right, boys, we got the, we got the marker here. So, okay. So, uh, let's, let's, let's go through this. So, okay. So this is basically the deal. And this is why I just absolutely can't, I just hate this game. So here I put a cloud flat. He plays it this time. He drops it. This this dude, like literally, and the thing is, if you play man coverage, like we, like basically, if you play man coverage on it, it's about the same res result. Um, we can't catch interceptions. Like he throws right at me. I know it's fourth down. I end up getting the ball back anyway. It's not a big deal. He we we just you just literally can't catch interceptions in this game. And so it just allows them to like throw stuff like that with no, that there's no consequence to it. It's a like literally. Here's my here's my basic opinion. Dropped interceptions are the participation trophy that EA Sports gives to players like this. Dropped interceptions are the participation trophy that EA gives to people that play like this. It's insane. It's insane to me that this is like a legitimate, like this. This is he's not the only person that plays like this. And we're gonna match every play as well. So his ba and I will say, I was actually the thing that the thing that really impressed me was his sheds. He's gonna send four every play. That was a bad read by me. He's gonna send four every single play. He's basically gonna sh you see here blitz, blitz, blitz. This is it. There's no blitz threat. However, these sheds are pretty good. You'll see, like, look at the instant shed, instant shed, instant shed. And it's just, in, I get instant shedded the entire game. I get instant shedded the entire game. So I don't know if he has a glitch. Maybe my offensive line is just bad because at the end of the day, I don't have the best team in Madden 25. I'm not sure. But he will get an instant shed every single game. He's got some kind of ability here. You know, why wouldn't you? He's definitely a prelit. I bet you last year he used prelits. There's a reason they're banned in tournaments. Because it's not good for the game. That being said, we settle for three. I was just like, whatever, we'll just take our three. I'm not trying to score in the red zone's hard. So well, you'll see. This this game will get we'll get starting to go here. I think he actually might go score on me here. But I mean there's just no consequence for bad <clears throat> there's no consequence for bad decisions. You can throw the ball into double coverage. They don't catch the ball. I mean, you're you're literally maybe gonna catch a percent uh, a pick like ten percent of the time. You'll see he'll throw right at my face. I got it right at my user, and I just can't catch it. Just can't catch the ball. You see here, boom. Now look, that was the same exact coverage that we dropped the interception on. Now he catches it over the top. Like I don't know what my deep half is guarding, but I mean that's just zones. That's just the way the game plays. I get that. It is kind of frustrating, and it get it just kind of highlights how truly terrible zones are the short side deep halves they don't play the sideline you can't do anything here we go again ag catches it this time i'm clicking right on i'm i just they, they I, I guess i'm not in the catch radius which is ba like a baffling that I, he's literally in a zone right there i should be able to click on him and catch that not able to do it consistently um i will get some picks on that but it's not consistent here we go, a little running back. See, that's the best read he's made all game. That's the first open receiver I've seen that he's thrown the ball to. That's the first open receiver that I've seen that he's thrown the ball to. Here, I'm going to go to dollar. It's actually kind of dumb. I should have just stayed in double mug. He can't. The thing with double mug is it's enough pressure that they have to throw the ball. Um, the dollar, dollar has that. But then here, I bust a coverage too, I think. And he's literally just coming out. So because he's not making any adjustments, he's just snapping for. Look at this throw. Like, look at this throw, guys. Look at this. That's um one point. Like, all right. Well, good read. It's just a good read at the end of the day, you know. Just got to be better. You know, that's just, it is what it is. You know, I can throw right at you. I click on. I just can't. The thing is, like, the movement. The, the reason this is possible, guys, is because of the movement. It's not because he's good. It's because the game is bad. I've never seen a, I've never seen a Madden where you can 
just do stuff like 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 I understand. I've 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 been in the rocket catching world. Like I've I've seen that. You might be able to say that that's that, and we'll get it. We'll we'll eventually stop it. But I just think like it's so bad for the game. Like it, it's so bad for the game that you can do that. Anyway, all right, here we go. A little bunch offset. We're gonna go to quads. Why are we going to quads? Because he's running match every play. And honestly, match is good this year. Um, I will say that it does kind of cover some stuff pretty decently. A lot of the meta combos that I would want to do, it does kind of cover that. Uh, however, there are some one. But the thing with match is you're just going to give up one play touchdowns. Like you'll see eventually, we'll start throwing a ton of one play touchdowns. Um, the random bumping in the game, my running back. I'm trying to throw my running back. Trying to throw my running back. Trying to throw my running back, and he's just running into the defensive tackle. Don't you know that's that that's that's just it's just weird to me like that's not good um but but we can believe that it's good here we go finally allows me to throw my running back route break a tackle get up there and he's literally just gonna and the thing is like it's just gonna be cover four palms or cover six every single play like that's pretty much what he's gonna do occasionally he'll do some stuff um but I mean, it's literally just it's it's send four out of Benog, cover four palms, and and that's just what we do. I mean, it it's just baffles. I think here we finally hit something. The running back, see how open the running back is underneath. By the way, if you break a tackle, it's super good. And it's just like I'm not playing any. I'm not really like specifically playing to beat match. I'm just kind of, you know, at this point. Also, the first game we played didn't get my playbooks either, so I didn't get. Um, I think I was in some random, like, didn't save my playbooks or something. I don't know. But anyway. All right, first and ten. I don't know what I'm running here. I'm just trying to break the match at this point. See if a streak. He user presses a streak. Tight end should be open. And I tell you, you see, I mean, this match is decent. Like, it does cover some stuff. But but you'll see, like, if you ever want to just kill this, just go to Bunch Strong, and it's just over. Like, there's just nothing they can do. Like, and I'll do that more as the game goes on. I'm kill I'm still kind of thinking I could – there, I'd circle wide open. But, I mean, look at these sheds. This is insane. Like, I'm getting instant shed at every play. Every single play. Every single play I'm getting. I'm getting instant shed every single play. So, I don't know if that's, like, a thing in this or what. But it's, it's literally going to be an instant shot every single play. I'll take a running back route. And you see, I think that's like five or six straight times. The And the difference between us is I'm throwing the ball to, like, wide open receivers. <laughs> like, I <laughs> – that's, that's my thing. It's like uh, – it's just frustrating. Watching this back is kind of frustrating too. And you see here, corner route will be open, drags open, everything's open, touchdown. And there we go. We got our touchdown. We're winning now. And now you're going to see, I think, eventually the defense is going to clamp. But, again, like, this is what I'm saying about the game. Like, I just don't really agree. Like, I don't mind how this guy plays. I actually think decent. It's just, like, the pride and the ego is what bothers me the most. And, and I get that I have some of that, too. Because, like, my big takeaway from this is I'm going to be going and testing match coverage because I actually like the sheds out of this. I, I think it, this this could honestly legitimately be a shed Madden. Um, it pretty much is. It's a disengage blitz, but it's it's basically a shed defense. So, you know, I'm, I'm testing that stuff out. I feel like he – all he – like, he can't objectively agree that, like, his – it's not even that he's not good. It's that the game's not good. Look at that outside third. There's no clear out route, by the way. Look at this. There's no clear out route. With the middle third, just look at the outside third. I'm like, expect. that's the other problem is as we're playing this game, I'm like, oh, that'll definitely play that. I don't need to switch stick onto that. And then it just throws it. Like, it, it, it's stuff like that. Like, I, I don't know how an outside third, Paul Krause, all the coins and every you know, like, 
or how good he is. He's got the deep zone deal. Like, I don't know how that doesn't play that. He's throwing an outside third into an outside outside corner into an outside third without a clear out route. Like, I would think that would guard that, but no, it doesn't. So he'll be able to get away with like really odd route combos and it just gets open like it just works again this is kind of going back to my point about zones like my first issue with this game will always be the movement the movement is why a lot of stuff happens uh that's like the force multiplier if they were able to improve the movement it would help everything the second thing is in my opinion the dropped interceptions so when you actually do get a stop you don't catch the interception and then the third thing for me is the zones the zones are so bad that you can just throw stuff at stuff, and it doesn't matter. He's throwing like a – he's not even throwing a stemmed corner. He's just out here putting the dude on a corner route, and the outside third just stares at him. Like, to me, that's that's terrible. Uh, that's that's a terrible game. Um, that's it's not, it's not even necessarily him being a bad player. It's the fact that it's a bad route combo, and then it's it's not able to be played properly by the zones. That, to me, is an issue, and it allows – Stuff like this. Here I switched it on to it. Throws right at my face. I can't catch it. We'll show that again. This is pretty much. This time we actually have a clear route. Switch stick right on to it. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. He throws right at my face, but his team is better. My team is just better than his at the end of the day. He throws right at my face. He doesn't pay for it. Here again. This time I get a PI. I mean, I guess. The, again, this kind of. Honestly, probably bad user, but it kind of goes to the movement. The movement in this game is so bad that you're – because you're so terrified of, like, the running back cutting in, you're, you're running as hard as you can, so to speak, to try to get there. Throw it right in my face again. That I actually had my hands on that ball. I dropped the interception again. Throw it right at my face. And there's just no consequence. There's just – the dude's lit up. Like, I don't know what else I can do. He's lit up. He's got – I'm shading outside, too. Like, throw it right at my face again. <laughs> at least we, at least we knock it out. At least we knock it out. Also, by the way, when hit, when knockouts come into the game more full pl- full fledged, his entire offense is over. That's why he's better in regs than in mutt. Because in mutt, there's actually a KO that will knock that out consi- like fairly consistently. Here, this drove me nuts. I was, I don't know what I was trying to do here. I was, I was trying to put this guy here. I accidentally, I don't know what I did, but. Yeah, I just blew a coverage. That was just bad by me. And 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 this and good to him to hit it and in this year's game, if you blow a coverage, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing you you know, I mean the there's just there's just the, the movement is so bad that you just can't, you know, here we go, run the ball, run the ball, good rate good run. That's that's a good run play. I think that's his third unique play call of the game. We got four verticals, we got a corner route, and we got a run play. Also, every single time, every single time he kicks off, it's a scum kick every single time. Every single time. He's trying to get that onside. I just think like and that's a bug in the game. Like it's it's I don't I I'm I'm not mad that he's doing an effective thing, but it's like you claim to play one way and then you actually play another way, like Running back, wide open, up there. I mean, Match is a really good defense. You know, it's, a, it's just a good defense at the end of the day. His basic defense is essentially drop everybody back to about 15 yards and hope you don't score. Oh, wait, I scored. Oh, wait, I scored. Match beater, double post, streak the outside receiver, snap the ball. It's a touchdown. But what's really odd to me, too, he's not going to get out of it. He's just going to play this way. Like, he's, it's just, he's just cool. He's just cool. Like, it's just baffling to me. Like, because he claims to be a pro Madden player. He claims to be an expert in the game. That he's exploiting people's offenses and defenses. That's not what's happening. There we go. Throw right at my face. Catch it. There you go. Good game. I tried to switch to go to the third, by the way. It wouldn't give me in. <sighs> There we go. Switch to go on to it. There we go. There's 
Oh, there's another pressure from my defense that didn't get any pressure in the games. Remember how he said I only got one sack? I don't even know if we're counting. That's like the arrogance, bro. It just drives me insane. Here we go. I switched it on to it. Honestly, probably bad user by me, but I'm there. I'm right there. I'm right there. At least he didn't catch it. And I'm literally doing the same adjustments every single play on purpose to try to prove a point. There, throw right at a hard flat. Oh, my gosh, this drives me insane. Look at this. Look at this. It's a freaking hard flat right there, guys. It's a freaking hard. Like, come on. Look at this game. Look at what's going on. Look at this. It's the same adjustments every single play. Hard flat, third, hard flat, vert hook, third, third, third. I don't care if it's bad defense. I'm trying to show that I don't have to do anything to stop this guy. I literally don't have to do anything. Look at this zone. Look at what, look, look at this. It's right there. He throws right at it. He's not even moving. Look at this. Look at this. This is why everybody is Patrick Mahomes in this game. Look at what he just threw. My son chimes in. It's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane that this happens. This should never happen. Watch the Bears game. How did the Bears beat the Titans? He threw the ball in the flat. They pick six to him. Give me my dang on pick six. I just can't stand. And this is why he's a, able to be a pro player. Because there's no consequence. You just throw stuff. At the end of the day, it just got to be better. Oh, I hate hot routing in this game. I think hot routes are so bad, too. Corner routes open, then throw it. Drags wider, more open. Notice how when I throw the ball, there's almost never a chance of an interception. I guess you could say that when he throws the ball, there's never really a chance of an interception either. Wide open player. I'm getting, literally, I'm getting instant shedded. Watch these sheds. Like, it's just instant. Every single play. Every single play is an instant shed. Eventually, the sheds will be toned down as the, you know, but it is what it is. This is kind of a dumb play call. Running back's open again. I kind of just got to a place where I was trying to bomb his match, like, pretty much every play, and... If you just – he does make an adjustment down the road where he'll start usering this guy. And if you just like he, – he basically is just trying to take the bomb away. I'm also getting bumped on the right side every single play. So it's just kind of bad offense by me. Like it's just kind of stubborn offense. Like I'm just trying to bomb him every single play, and that's, that's never a good way to play offense, honestly. I'm just like so confident that he's never going to stop me that, that this is, you know – Probably, honestly, like a little bit disrespectful for me. But, I mean, it's, it's just, I just, <laughs> the sheds are wild. I, I feel like the sheds are really the highlight of this. If you want to learn something from him, the sheds are good. Running back was open. Crosser was wide open. And the reason I'm playing a little slow is because I just, I, especially like, like, just reading the match. Like, I will say the match is kind of – it's just buggy. Like, it just – they move weird, and they – it's just not like it, – it's better probably than it's been in previous years. Here, I'm just trying to clock him. <laughs> um, not much. I just want to make sure that he doesn't get the chance to fluke score. I want to make sure that I'm up – because I get the ball at half, so I just want to be up two possessions. This was actually kind of a – I thought this was an outside quarter. I guess it was a soft squat. So, good play, but a soft squat will never play that. Like, he'll, he'll just backpedal. I will say, like, that's probably the, like, closest thing I threw to, like, a bad read um, until, like, the next game where I'm just kind of messing around. But look at these shits. Like, that's insane. 
So fourth and 17, I was just kind of like, you know what? We'll just like throw something here. I just want to make sure he didn't get the ball. This trail route just kind of gets into a spot. We just rat catch right through them. Touchdown. There it is, boys. All right, so second half. We'll see if we can catch a pick. Notice again, he'll probably try to scum kick me. Look at my player just completely glitched. You see Jones? Look at Jones. Look where he went. It's a good game, boys. It's a good game. This is the buggiest game I've ever played. I can't stand this. I, I, I like, uh, I want to like this game, too. I never am like, uh, I want to like Madden. I just hate what they're doing with the game. I really do. Like, it just, it's just not, it's not consistent. It's, the movement is so bad. Like, you're, uh, it's not, it's just, I, I prefer college over Madden, honestly. If you guys want to follow my college football channel, that link will be in the description. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more college content um, as well now that we're kind of settling into the Madden season. Drag wide open. We've pretty much done college tips on that channel too, like every day, if not every other day though, by the way. 263 yards, no interceptions. And I'll see if I can just not get bumped. If we don't get bumped at the touchdown, but my guy's getting bumped every play. So my match beat is not really working this game. You'll see it work a lot more like in the four. I think the third, late, like later this quarter into the fourth. You'll see we'll start really cooking the matchup. It's just like this because he's truly not doing anything. If he shows blitz, my match beater works a lot better because I don't get bumped. See how I don't get bumped here? Um, didn't actually have a good play call there. I, th I was seeing if dig return still beat match, but it doesn't. And I just don't play a lot of match, but like flood, this will kill it. So you see how I don't get bumped because it's a fade, and then I'm just wide open. You can't guard it. Like good defense, good defense, buddy. Run the same adjustments every single play. Run the same, run, you know. And I know I'm doing the same stuff every play, but my stuff's actually working. I, I he's not even come close to a stop that I'm aware of. All right, here we go. Going to come out, run his four verticals. Let's try to add catch on the left side with our 6'8 guy or our 6'5 guy on the left. Throw right at my face. Can't catch a pick in this game. Look at this. I click onto this guy. I take the ball away. I have a guy right there. He doesn't catch the ball. Dropped interception. That's, I think, our third dropped interception of the game if you're counting, like, obvious dropped interceptions. It's just good for the game, you know? That was actually a good read. He had the running back. That's probably the first open receiver he's thrown to, one of the first. I mean, all we do is ag. We just try to ag catch over and over and over again. And throw it again. Why not? It's been working so well for him. 31 to 17. The fact that he has 17 points is actually insane to me. I get no pressure. I get no pressure. And the main reason I'm actually running this defense, I really don't run a lot of double mug. Um, the reason I'm running this defense in this game is because he was basically arguing that he just destroys double mug, that double mug just can't stop him, that it's just the greatest thing ever. Again, throws right at my face. This is a hard flat zone. It's a hard flat zone shaded outside underneath. It doesn't play anything. Fix zones. It doesn't play anything. He throws right at it with no consequence. Why would I try to be good at the game when there's no consequence if you actually have the right adjustment on the field? Like, it's so frustrating. It's like, it's like uh, he's thrown at a hard flat 
right at their face. And they just do nothing. Switch stick on to take that away. There we go. We finally get a stop. He threw right at a vert hook again, by the way. He threw right at a vert hook. The vert hook almost gave that up. And now we will end the game. <sighs> Boys, this, this took like years off my life. This might have little legitimately taken years off my life playing this guy. So now you see he starts to use the safety. He thinks he can help it, but he's not going to be able to. It's a touchdown with his user right there. We throw right at it. Touchdown. And it's not a fluke. It's wide open. It's not an ag catch. Because the thing about ag catches, once they throw KOs in the game, it's over. You can't do that. If you have a consistent KO out there, it's not going to work. Ag catches are just completely because of the game right now because there's no KO abilities. Really? Like the KOs for, for Kraus and Slay are like only a couple plays. Um, and then also there's no like – you just catch everything in this game too. That's like I – low-key, I actually hate that about this game. You catch, in, you catch everything in traffic. You really do. So like that's another reason why what he's doing and, – and I guess you could say like, well, he found something that's effective and he mastered it. That's good. Yeah. Problem is there's like it's 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 objectively not good. There's my there's a sack by the way. I think that's let's say that's my I don't know if that's my first sack. That might be my first actual sack of the game. But there's been a constant amount of pressure on him. And like look at my middle third just not guard it. Look at my middle third just not guard it. And he just throws things like he has, I, I promise you, he has, like, no real logic as to why he's throwing things. He's just, like, blindly throwing stuff. There, I switched it on to it. Finally, it lets me, and I finally catch my interception. We switched it on to it. We catch our interception. We are currently winning by 21 points. And we're going to snap the ball. Now, I like Flood. You can slant the tight end quick. Here, he's using that. Tight end's always open on... If they run match, the tight end on the slant is always open. The thing I need to do, but I just don't want to – the other thing is I also, like, I don't want to take a million years at the pre, pre-stamp, but if you put the running back on an end route, that tight end would be even more open because the quarter flat has to match the running back. Their square was wide open. I missed it. I was trying to throw the out route too. I was trying to I was trying to throw the out route. The out route's wide open on match too. So, I mean, this is a very simple just match, Bieber. Just call it. Um, I like to slant the tight end just because it, it helps. Um, tight ends open again. See how they're just not able to guard it. There you go. Wide. These are wide open receivers. 404 yards, five touchdowns. I believe his uh, direct words was that he his match coverage bags me. His match coverage bags me. It's not bagging me at all. It is not bagging me at all. And again, I'm just, I'm literally just doing like, because he, he's not doing anything. Here, cool. And that's where, like, if you were able to put that running back on an end route, it, it'd be wide open every time. I just, I just don't like that I can't snap the ball fast. We'll eventually score here. I think we go to, uh, I don't remember how I score here. All right, see, look at these instant sheds. Look at the instant sheds. Just insane. Maybe I don't score here. Maybe he just maybe he just actually gets a stop. But I should throw a corner route. Audible over to wide trail. Corner route. Should be wide open. Snap the ball. I don't know why I called this. This is not a good play call. Corner route should be open though. Throw it. Wide open. Catch it. Touchdown. Forty five to seventeen. 45 to 17, my brother. And it has nothing to do with the teams. All right. First and 10 on the 32 yard line. All right, so now we're doing some weird stuff. We get into these weird formations. 
um, because our because our our ag catches are no longer working, and we just start running random sh- random random plays like like actually random plays. Like this is so random. That's what drives me insane. Is like now we just go do random stuff. So I go to dollar. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go base cover four drop. I think that'll just bag it up. Um, it nor it actually might have, but I st- I just didn't stick with it enough. And he doesn't. He's never. Gonna, what's weird is he doesn't run the ball out of this stuff. He just like he's just gonna call PA boot. You know, I mean, look at this. Yep, 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 yep. Great read, great read, great read. I mean, these just, it just, ah, it's just frustrating. I hope this highlights, like, the status of the game. I mean, he has 17 points. And, pre- and if this was Madden 21, he would have never scored. He would have never scored. If this was Madden 2020, he probably would have never scored. Unless he ran the ball every play. There you go. I switched it right onto it. It's actually a decent rollout. I'm surprised Penix can outrun Chase Young. That's another thing that's low key super bad about this game is the quarterback scrambling is really underrated. Like you can just scramble on anything in this game. That was something that was like the worst thing in Madden 24, in my opinion, was the scramble. Worst thing in Madden 23 or Madden uh, whatever this Madden 25 is the scramble. It's one of the worst things. Here we go. We got a little uh, split back set here. And we're going to instant sack him. That's our second sack of the game for the record. At least that I'm counted. I haven't counted. I don't know if I've I, – but he's also just like throwing he's, – he's getting – he's like throwing out of a sack a lot too. But whatever. All right, then he starts going to stuff like this. This kind of stuff always scares me because like there's just – I just feel like there's there's always somebody open. Um this is actually probably terrible defense. I'm trying to – basically, I'm trying to man things up. And I just feel like I can't get anywhere. Yep. Oh, good read, buddy. Got the smoke screen. There's always, there's always a smoke screen. There's always a smoke screen. And here, I think I auto my auto flip was accidentally turned off. Then I tried to fix it, and I got all discombobulated. And then I made a – that's what's crazy is he missed that touchdown on the left side. Again, he throws right at my face. I cannot catch the ball. My hands are on the ball. I'm hitting the Y button or the triangle button. I can't catch it. Nothing I can do. Now, this is probably the most frustrating thing I've seen, uh, what he's about to do. He's getting to a point where he's just guessing. Like, he's just guess passing. And so what he's doing here is he's running two post routes and if I don't switch off of this, I'm switching. If I don't switch onto that hook curl, it's a pick. He's throwing right at it. I switch off of it because I saw the post on the left side. I didn't see the post on the right side, and he gets a completion. At the end of the day, great read. Just a great poised read under pressure by Demon Shadow X. Here we go. Middle third plays nothing. Actually, that was probably one of the better plays he's had all game. That was bad defense by me. I'm just like, I don't know. I guess I'm just so focused on the stupid ad catch. Had he done more stuff like this, it, it, you know, I feel like it would have been better for him. <sighs> Slant route. I don't know how that's open. I shaded inside and underneath. Here he's going to go for two. It is 45 to 23. I'm ch- what's crazy is this freezes your user. See, I'm trying to move. I can't move my user. So that's actually like I'm putting that in the I'm putting that in the minutes for the day. That's something that would be good to use. But we're able to still stop it. And we'll see how many see if we can keep scoring here. Obviously, could just clock this game out and just be done, but figured I would just try to show that there's just literally very little chance of him ever getting a stop on me. Go to flood, throw the streak. Now, I will say him using it on that left side safety, that's kind of good in match this year because you can kind of help with the bombs. 
But circle's open, X is open. I'm just not making a read. Good old instant sheds are really helping him out. Whatever he's got on Crosby is going crazy. I think it's Crosby out there. Uh, we just can't. We just we just don't have any time to throw the ball. 427, six touchdowns, but it's good defense at the end of the day. That's my other frustration. I was like, you can say whatever you want, but like I've thrown for 427 yards and six touchdowns. And we just started the fourth quarter. So how – like, in what world is this defense good? In what world is this defense actually good? Basically, the only time I get sacked is when I'm trying to throw a one-play touchdown because he's getting instant sheds. Running back. Tied in flat. That's good for the game. Just not able to, you know, just not able to catch the ball. Another great feature they added this year is when you, sometimes when you throw the ball, it just goes through their hands. That was, that was uh, something great about last year's game is that didn't happen. Tied ends open. I'm missing him. I'll just throw that. Ag catch or uh, possession catch it. I mean, just it. it <laughs> It's just never going to stop me. Like, he's doing nothing on defense that would ever give him a stop. Like, and I'm not doing anything on offense either. I'm just like, okay, we'll just run, him, run our offense. Everything's open. Running back's open. Throw it. No, I mean, it's just <laughs> – it's just never going to stop me. Like, it's, it's – this, this defense is never in a million years going to stop me. Unless I, like, throw some crazy stuff, but – Probably not gonna happen. Here, you're trying to showcase how bad zones are. Flat doesn't cover that. You can just throw it at it, and that's a specific RPO play. You'll see me do it again. I think I'll do it again here um, to score. But you can't guard that flat. It's uh, it, it pretty much never gets picked in this game. Here, I'm just gonna run the ball. See if I can just run it in. I really just mainly want to get to 50 points. Wasn't able to. Here, I'm going to go back to that flat play and watch this play. Like, this is where, like, he – I mean, he's not – like, he's playing good defense. Like, it just – the game's – this is the game being bad. Like, you can't – the flat zones don't guard it. It just is what it is. They're never going to guard it. So, you just throw right at it. But, I mean, to be fair, um, we dropped a flat route, flat pass that he threw right at us, and we actually got our hands on the ball. And the game said, no thanks, doesn't matter. All right, a minute 23. Let's see what he, what he dials up here. I think we, think we get one more stop. Man, he's back in his doubles, throwing his ag catch. Another pressure. Another pressure. I mean, again, guys, like the biggest thing with this is I just – I was just kind of annoyed with how I felt like he was talking to me. He was also talking to a lot of creators. It wasn't just me. Like, there's a lot of creators that actually put, like, good content out that he was uh, kind of talking smack to that I just didn't think that was appropriate. And the thing and, – and that's ultimately, you know, I mean, and here, you know, just throw right at me again. Finally, he makes one – this is why these kind of offenses never win belts. This is why these kind of offenses never win belts. You cannot consistently, 100% of the time, rely on throwing the ball to a covered receiver for your offense. He makes a mistake with his user. I'm able to just easily catch the interception finally. There you go. Like, he scored 23 points, agging me every single play. I don't know if I'm going to do the regs game. We end up winning the regs game, too. Um... The regs game was a little closer because you can't – like, defense is worse than regs. And so, you – you know, you just – you're just – but I think I won – I think it was like 49 – I want to say it was 49 to 39. There's wide open read, easy read. There you go. He's not covering the seams. We throw right at it. Dot, dot, dot. And I don't think I – 
aggressive catch or relied on stuff like that at all in this game. I mean, everything was wide open, literally wide open, just throwing the ball to open receivers, good reads consistently throughout the game. And his palms did not bag me. So I just thought the arrogance and the, I mean, just the, it it wasn't just like, I think I might be able to beat that. It was like, you're terrible. I'm better than you. Here's why. Right. We do play a regs game. I might do that video tomorrow. I'm kind of uh, ran it out for now, but uh, uh, shadow demon. This guy is literally a shadow demon. Throws right. At, there's another drop pick. I don't know what number that is. I think we're up to seven or eight. Throw right at it. He's throwing right at it, and he just can't catch it. And the thing is, I'm getting my hands on the ball. I just can't catch the ball. Like that's that's every. <laughs> Every drive, every single drive, I've gotten my hands on a pass and not been able to catch it. I'm pretty sure. Here, I feel like that was – I just wish they wouldn't have called P.I. Like, I feel like this was a decent play. Like, I knew the corner route was going to be thrown. Run right to it. I get a pick. I get a P.I. So, whatever. I did feel like that was – I feel like that was a good defensive play, though. Because just the way he's playing, I mean, it's just – it's it's so bad like and i, I uh, it's just um, if it wasn't for like him talking like it wouldn't matter. you see instant screamer up the middle throw the ball that's a hard flat by the way throw right at it again throw right at it again look at that hard flat right there throw right at it it's just you know it's just cool like yeah just throw it at it. he caught it by the way and got four yards he caught it and got four yards on that you know, just just throw it at it while you're getting screamed at instantly. There you go. There you go. I tried to swat. Look at this stuff, dude. If you're not put, I guess if you're not doing this in your game, there you go. I think he's basically free forming it to the right, and then he's like kind of swerving him back. But I think he does actually score here. He should score. If he doesn't score, he's crazy. Yeah, he scores here. He definitely scores. But that's it. That's game one. Um, yeah, uh, we did win the game by 29 points. And we will see how the race game goes. But um, I just hope this video highlights how much is wrong with this game and why people are now empowered to act like idiots because the game allows dumb stuff to work. That was a hook curl, shut it down, a slant route, just everything's just open. You know, I mean, it's just interesting to me. But I'm going to leave it at that. Did not enjoy, did not enjoy playing this game. Um, but I did think like it was time to kind of just, I don't know, I guess just, just say what needs to be said. Like he's not good. You know, throw right out another covered player. It's just open. So, yeah. 59 to 31. The fact that he has 31 points is ridiculous. There's a scum kick again. Here, I'm just trying to cut, recover it and get done with the game. But, yeah, one one great. But, uh, yeah, we do play a regs game. I think I just tell them to send the game invite. But uh, thanks for watching, boys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.